hello, hello. I'm Tiski, and till today we'll be playing the beginning of What Never Was. This is a first-person adventure game with um, a sequel currently in the works, so I thought I would play the beginning of the first game for you today. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. It's a magnifying glass for magnifying things. A desk drawer. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. A desk drawer. I like how detailed everything it's is. It's a banker's lamp. There you are, some light. This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. I'm only here to pick up my stuff. But well, maybe I'll grab this later. Oh! Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. This looks like one of the diary pages. Okay, we picked one up. To look at your inventory, press Q or Tab. So we have a cell phone. A Matson flip phone. It's a year old, but still works pretty great. I'm not in a hurry to upgrade, even though the new smartphones look pretty nifty. Well, maybe I would if I could afford one. I prefer rotaries, but at least flip phones, when you hang up on someone angrily, you can do the flip, which is nice. New phones miss out on that. Student ID. A student ID from my school. I'm still not sure if studying botanics and biology is right for me, and God knows mom doesn't think so. But. I like nature and I like the idea of maybe one day fixing the planet and winning the Nobel Prize or something. Or setting up a flower shop, you know, whichever. Also not the best picture, but yeah, that's me. Oh, that was the thing she was holding in the opening cutscene. Necklace, a necklace I got from Grandpa when I turned 10. He joked that it was magical and that it would keep me safe from monsters and such under my bed, and I believed him for the longest time. I've worn it since, and now that he's gone, I don't think I'll ever stop wearing it. What is that? Is that a stone or a petrified item, like a, a beam or something? It's an interesting shape. Elfstone, also sometimes known as troll stones, the subject of Scandinavian folklore. Normal rocks with holes in them the size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. Hung from the necks of livestock, it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators, trolls, and even incubi. 
In some tales, the owner of a true elf elfston is also able to see in otherwise see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. Oh, like in Coraline. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for, carved in a way that no average jeweler could, and with ore in place for where a hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm, and I am sure its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this, though. I must study it thoroughly. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. Ah, the old gramophone. Yeah, enough of that. It looks like a torn out page. Mm, we're getting some dropped frames, so I'm gonna try something. Oh, I'll leave you on a journal page. There we go. Hopefully that will speed things up. Nah, I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Maps. Lots of maps. I'm sure some of these are worth keeping. But I'm not going to sit down and sort through them right now. Grandpa loved reading maps and making maps. Oh, this is nice. The light shining through. I have always loved the British countryside. Me too. It's locked. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Anything in here? Nope. Says A tape recorder. Hello, this is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can sort off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. 
This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. That was a good opening. I like that. We don't get to see the, the grandfather really young. But I think that helped us to have a glimpse of their relationship. Which is important for this, because she's she's doing this for him. Hey, Mr. Piggles. Aww. Oh, man. My old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Damn. The adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. Ah. Uh, here's my stuff. I'm not grabbing my stuff until I've made sure I have everything I need in here. I am not taking this with me right now. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. An interesting clock. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... It's locked. Grandpa loved this thing, told me it was one of a kind, although he never actually told me why. There is no way I can pick this up. These books are all so old. Hey, wait, is that the biography of George Lucas? The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. Fairies by Brian Froud and Alan Wayne. Celtic Myths and Legends. Celtic myths and legends. I wonder how many of these he charted or drew himself. It's a chessboard with the game already in progress. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like it. Hmm, what's this? Berries by Brian Froud. A typewriter. It's a lamp for the typewriter. Nah, -uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. Oh, hey, Shadow, how are you? Looks like the chess game will never conclude. I, I suppose not. Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. I wonder if the grandfather was playing against himself or um, doing it long distance via radio, perhaps. Or like with someone else. a Scottish cathedral. Whoa. This looks like... I wonder who's winning. Actually, I wonder who Grandpa was playing. It's a chessboard. There's no one to play. And I'm not sure I even know the proper rules. Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? You're doing fine, Shadow? I'm glad. Glad to hear it. Ooh. Paria... Pariakaka, South... Oh! Okay. These can be... pushed. Shoe, Egypt. And a symbol of a... swirl? Fusang, China. And a symbol of a tree. Oh, okay, so we have to do this in the right order. Hey, so this is that goddess thing mentioned in Grandpa's diary. Paria... Pariakaka, South America. And that looks like a drop of water. Okay, so I think we need to find more diary entries to figure out the order. 
and then the page order will be the order in which we need to um, press the buttons. That is the theory I'm going to go with. I'm sure some of these are worth keeping, but I'm not going to sit down and sort through them right now. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell books are all so old. Hey, wait. Celtic myths and legends. Pele, goddess of fire. Why was Grandpa researching Hawaiian myths? He sure could draw though. I mean, look at that goddess dragon thing. Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. It's locked. It's locked. Can I crouch in this game? Yes. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Mm. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? It's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure an old bicycle hiking by train. I'm leaving by train. I'm pretty sure this exact model is in fashion again. The rust just makes it more hip. I prefer my face unmelted. Thank you very much. I like the, the subtle floor creaking sound when you walk around. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. I think we found everything. Sang China and a symbol of a tree. Ah, shoot. Okay, so there's three. Is that supposed to be wind? I'm um, Shu Egypt, and a symbol of a. What did the message say again? The world is full of secrets. Fu Sang China, and a symbol of a tree. That 
Doesn't seem to be it. Pele, Hawaii, and a fire symbol. Okay, so that's the first one. No, that's not it. What did the message say again? Okay, so I think it's process of elimination, so you, you push in one. That doesn't seem to be it. What did the message say again? So it's tree. Water. Yeah, trial and error. Tree, water, moon. Yeah! <laughs> I did it! This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Whoa! Nice! To look through your necklace, press B. Whoa. Serious whoa. Hey, that wasn't there before. It's a small, simple key. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. Okay, so the clock highlights some things. Hmm, the key I have doesn't fit here. Okay, so we don't need to select items, it'll be, they'll be used automatically. Okay, good to know. Nah, I can find my way back to the train station without it. A pretty fancy looking compass. That's a really nice... binocular. <laughs> Monocular? Um, this will be perfect for my next sail across the seven seas. But I'll leave it where it is for now. An open desk drawer. A desk drawer. This seems to belong to the diary. Did we open this one? It's empty. animation of the roll of the pencils when the drawers were opened. It's locked. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. Oh, that's tiny. Let me zoom in. 
could the combination be? So five letters. worked for. It's here, I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference, and now I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbols line up and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale, but I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here in Egypt, and after having invaded my, evaded my guide, I have now found the symbols. It's time. Time to learn what is behind these strange connections and events. The alchemic symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one for tree. While a trip has yet gone, yet again gone well, and my research has once again led me to these symbols, I can draw no conclusion. I have spent most of my life researching these mythological connections, yet again I reach my destination, and nothing, almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. Sometimes I wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay years of planning, only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I am close to finding something. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. Oh, we're still not... We'll try the stone again. So middle letter is X, unless it's a just a marker. But I... okay, Grandpa, I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here, huh? Guess I'll have to work it out myself then. I guess there's no X. Oh wait, I have another idea. It's locked. What if it is? What if this is correct? Huh. Damn. I was sure that would be it. Maybe I need something else to solve this. Okay, that was a pretty good twist, but I... <laughs> I didn't anticipate that. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here... Guess I'll have to work it out myself then.
the combination be? Oh, Shadow said the window looked a little strange when you looked at it with the necklace. I'll try getting closer and then looking at it again. It dims everything. I think it's making it easier for us to see the sun. That's it. I think it's just a visual effect. What ho, what ho, what ho! Oh, hello, standby for the follow. We're solving a puzzle in uh, what never was. Here, let me write down the possibilities so it's... They make it so tiny that it's hard for, to see with the crosshairs in the way. Okay, so A, F, L. Is that an O or a Q? I think it's an O. Okay, so first line is A S, second is A F L, third row is D I R, fourth is O A, and fifth is E H R or N. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. Didn't we find all of them?
Yeah, trial and error should not be the method for um, a five word combination lock. look at it through the stone when it says that. Maybe the X means it's correct? Looks different now. There wasn't an X before. Yes, okay, we've got it now. even be a blank at this point. Okay, two more left. It's clever that with Sarah it has one correct combination because that's that's probably when you would be prompted to try looking through it. There we go. And I think it spells pixie. Yep. Whoa, fancy key. triangles in the journal pages? I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. It won't budge. Okay. So we want tree. When we look through this, the tree, I think is at the bottom. So we'll have it point there. It's stuck in place. It won't budge.
Oh, okay, so it's for each of them. Okay, so we can now move the triangle pointing up. So that's fire. I'll, I'll actually write down where the, they are. Okay, so I need to set these hands correctly. Maybe the answer is in Grandpa's journal pages. Oh, it's interesting she prompts us. In case we get stuck. We should be good, though. Oops, I meant to press the button. Yeah, if there's one thing I could do, it would be if, if it had a locked mode, like Mist, where you could just have the camera static. need to select the clock hand somehow. Was that it? Did I there do it? There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? No, 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 no! That was the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner, so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. But that is a longer story, for another time. Well, we're at the end of the, that was the first chapter of What Never Was. Chapter two should be out sometime in the future. Um, I don't know if it's in this year or if, if, if they've specified, but I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. With that, I think it's a good time to stop now. But thank you very, very much for watching and I hope to play something else next week. Ta-ra!